When Patrick Cannon was elected last November, he was holding on to a dirty little secret for three years. Beginning in 2010, Cannon began meeting with undercover FBI agents, posing as commercial real estate developers and investors, wanting to do business in Charlotte. Patrick Cannon accepts the first bribe in a South Park condo that the FBI had wired for pictures and sound. An FBI operative counts out $12,500, placing the bills on the table in front of Cannon. On February 21st, Cannon accepted $20,000 in cash inside the mayor's office. But the most damaging video is of Cannon in the mayor's office taking a $20,000 bribe with the undercover operative promising there would be more. That'd be cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right. Right there. Right. And that on March 26th, Cannon was arrested. The next day, he resigned as mayor. In June, he pled guilty. I have acknowledged being guilty of accepting monies for constituent services, something that should never have been done while serving in elected office. Former Mayor Patrick Cannon's days as a free man could be coming to an end. Cannon has admitted taking bribes while he was in office and has been free on bond since entering his guilty plea back in June. In D.C., Charlotte's Rad Berkey is here. And Rad, we are now learning that he could be sentenced as early as next week. Well, that's right. You know, the probation department has completed a very long report on Cannon, his background, what he admits he did. And that report is now in the hands of the judge who will actually sentence the former mayor. Cannon has already pleaded guilty to accepting $50,000 in bribes from FBI agents who Cannon believed were real estate investors who were willing to pay him for his influence. At the sentencing, Cannon will be given the chance to speak on his own behalf. Cannon told Judge Whitney he was sorry and could feel the pounding of his own conscience. He said, I repent and ask God for forgiveness. But while Judge Whitney said he believed Cannon was really sorry for taking more than $50,000 in bribes, it was necessary to send a message to other politicians. You know, Cannon pled guilty to corruption charges and he was sentenced to more than three years in prison. And in doing that, he's forfeited the right to vote. But this is a printout of the public voter information that shows Patrick D'Angelo Cannon voted last Thursday. Well, Dave, Patrick Cannon could have been sent right to prison today for violating the terms of his release. However, he caught a break after offering an apology. I first want to simply uh, apologize to, to this community, uh, as I did to the court and as I did to the government, uh, about uh, what took place in the way of a vote. Uh, on that day, October 30th, that was a day whereby I had went like I would normally go each and every year. Uh, with my wife uh, to vote. Uh, I actually heard from my uh, probation officer, which was around oh, 5 o'clock uh, on that day, on election day, to say, uh, hey, uh, did you do that? And I acknowledged, yeah, I did. Uh, what was the problem? I mean, as a result, here we are. Today, Cannon was allowed to go home, but now has to remain there and wear an electronic monitor until he goes to prison. Now, since we last saw him at his sentencing last month, Cannon appears to have grown a bit thinner and he has grown a goatee. But he has not lost any of his charisma. Today, he warmly greeted people that he knew and said hello, perhaps for one of the last times before he goes to prison. In less than 24 hours, former Charlotte Mayor Patrick Cannon will be in prison. He's expected to turn himself in by noon tomorrow. Tonight, we've got live team coverage. The federal correctional institution here in Morgantown looks more like a summer camp. It is home to more than 1,100 inmates. Tomorrow, one of them will be Patrick Cannon. There are no visible fences and no barbed wire. We could clearly see a ball field and volleyball courts. The facility is about 12 miles from downtown Morgantown. It's home to the University of West Virginia. It is set back along a rural road. There are no doubt worse places that Patrick Cannon could have been ordered to serve his sentence. But make no mistake, that is a prison and his life is about to change. And that was the last we saw of anything. Again, we are off the property. The prison is not talking to us at all, not saying anything. But the Federal Bureau of Prisons in Washington, D.C. has now confirmed to us that former Mayor Patrick Cannon did in fact turn himself in here about 20 minutes ago. 
live at the Federal Institution, Radberkey, NBC Charlotte.